Hey guys, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you are subscribing to the channel and liking to the videos that I'm making. Uh, in today's Azure video, I'm here to talk about just-in-time VM access uh, for your servers running within the Azure environment. Now, we as all know that uh, one of the best way of managing your virtual machine are is through RDPing or SSHing into uh, your virtual machine running in Azure platform. And that means that uh, you need to uh, open some of the inbound ports to your to your servers, uh, which is a great functionality. But uh, from from the attack point of view, and all the hackers that are trying to access these and get into your servers, uh, that makes it prone to these attacks. So in order to prevent that, uh, Azure Security Center has something what you call just in time VM access, uh, which I'll show you in a moment. The only thing is that uh, Security Center comes in two flavors. So one of the prerequisite to use uh, uh, JIT is that you need to have a standard flavor. Uh, that's the paid version. Otherwise, uh, when you use an Azure portal, by default, you get a free version. There is no charge for that. But in order to use uh, just in time, you need to have a uh, uh, standard uh, tier within Azure Security Center. So if I go to the security policy and uh, uh, security center and pick my Azure sponsorship. Uh, make sure that your data collection is on. And if I go to the security policy, uh, there is an option for uh, just in time network access. So make sure that is on. You can always switch it off uh, depending upon what services you want. By default, they will be on once you do the uh, auto provisioning when you set it to on but for this needs to be on. So it, by default, it will uh, switch on all these uh, options uh, within the security policy, but you can always switch it off. But for just-in-time network access, since we are talking about this, make sure that that is on. So with that in place, uh, if I go to further down from the left pane, there should be an option for, actually, let me open that again. Under the advanced cloud defense, there is an option of just-in-time VM access. So if I go into this, uh, you'll see three tabs, configured, recommended, and uh, no recomm uh, recommendation. So when you do it for the first time, uh, you won't see any servers in the list over here. So when you go to recommended, you'll see that you know, these are the ones, uh, the one which is not grayed out. These are not uh, added within the just-in-time VM access. So you, what you can do is that you can just pick the one that you want and you can just enable just in time VM access and that will uh, show you over here. So in my case, I have this domain controller for which I have enabled the just in time VM access. And if I expand these three dots and uh, go on edit, you will see that uh, I have these uh, uh, ports open. Now, the good thing about the just in time VM access is that uh, it does not just apply to the management port. It can apply to any port. And that is the beauty about this is that you can restrict. So if an administrator has to get inside the VM, he can only open that for a specific period of time. And uh, as I mentioned, it's just not the management port. You can apply to this any port. So say, for example, it is 25. You can use a protocol any or TCP or UDP. You can also allow source IPs from only specific uh, uh, serial blocks. So if I am using, um, uh, I want to give access from within specific uh, uh, IP address range, I can just uh, give that to. And uh, I can also specify uh, for how long that window can be open. I can make it uh, 24 hours, I can go one hour, so that, that is all configurable. And once I click OK over here, it will, uh, it will, when I go to the NSG or network security group of uh, uh, the virtual machine, you can see that uh, this is one of the, uh, one of the rule that has been enabled over here. And it, it is a great way that you can protect your virtual machine. You can only open the post for a specific period of time, get the job done and uh, get out from there. So uh, my recommendation is uh, just to have a look at this one because uh, uh, that's the ports, uh, management ports generally most of the time the hackers are trying to get into or get access to and with the JIT you can definitely protect that. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.